Hi everyone, I'm Nicola Dilbeck uh, from Auckland, New Zealand, uh, and today I'm going to be talking about the results of the FAST study. Uh, this is abstract L08, and this was presented today at the uh, ACR convergence meeting. So, uh, of course, cardiovascular disease is a very common comorbidity in people with gout, um, and our Treatment options have been um, somewhat uncertain in the last couple of years following the uh, publication of the CARES trial, uh, which reported increased cardiovascular and all-cause mortality uh, in uh, patients uh, prescribed for buxistat compared with allopurinol. So we've all really been waiting uh, eagerly for the results of the FAST trial. So this is essentially the European uh, post-regulatory approval cardiovascular outcome study comparing fibuxostat with allopurinol. Uh, this was uh, mandated uh, by the EMA at the time of approval of fibuxostat. So this is an open label non-inferiority trial um, with uh, a cardiovascular uh, outcomes at, as the primary endpoint. So participants in the study all had gout. They were 60 years old or, or older and uh, at the time of going into the study, they were all taking allopurinol. All had at least one cardiovascular risk factor uh, and about a third had established cardiovascular disease. I think it is important to note that uh, people with severe heart failure were excluded and also those who'd had a cardiovascular event or stroke in the preceding six months. So there was a run-in period where participants uh, had uh, dose escalation of allopurinol to achieve a serum uric uh, target of less than six milligrams per deciliter. And then they were randomized to uh, either continue with allopurinol or switch to fibuxostat, initially 80 milligrams daily, increasing to 120 milligrams daily if needed. Most people were able to uh, achieve a serum uric target on fibuxostat 80 milligrams daily. So there was actually very little uh, dose escalation of fibuxostat. The primary outcome measure was uh, adjudicated cardiovascular events or death. Uh, and importantly, uh, this was a study done in uh, predominantly Denmark and uh, the UK. So there was very good uh, record linkage and they uh, were able to achieve very good follow-up. Um, so just briefly to mention the gout outcomes. So uh, there was slightly more serum urate uh, lowering uh, with fibuxostat compared to allopurinol, but really no appreciative, uh, appreciable difference in the gout flares between the two groups. But now getting on to the really uh, important outcome um, for this trial, which was the, the primary outcome of, um, of cardiovascular safety. Overall, fibuxostat was non-inferior to allopurinol with respect to the primary outcome and also for uh, mortality uh, outcomes. In fact, the hazard ratio was uh, was actually slightly lower, although not statistically different, uh, at 0 0.85 for the primary outcome, uh, which actually uh, showed a, a potential benefit of uh, fibuxostat compared to allopurinol. Again, not statistically significant, but really no uh, signal of worse outcomes with fibuxostat. Uh, with respect to the deaths, there were numerically fewer deaths in the fibuxostat group compared with the allopurinol group. So 7.2% with fibuxostat uh, and 8.6% with allopurinol. And overall, SAEs were otherwise uh, similar. Uh, importantly, with this study, uh, there was very good follow-up. So 94% uh, had complete follow-up, and this was really enhanced by the record linkage. Uh, and I think it, it, this is really an important point because there was a huge amount of uh, loss to follow up in the CARES trial. So uh, what's the implication for, uh, of, this, of this result? Well, I think it really does provide us uh, with some reassurance that switching from allopurinol to fibuxostat is safe. Uh, and this is in, includes in people who have cardiovascular risk factors. Um, and so I think this will change my practice. Uh, and uh, I think will also help us a lot to reassure patients uh, when we're talking about the safety of urate lowering therapy. Thanks.